All right, so I'll try to be quick. I don't know how, how much memory I have on this thing, and I haven't checked the resolution settings on the recording for the camera. Anyway, this thing got thrown into the patio last night, and it chipped that pot. I gave that pot, or that plant, to a neighbor further up the street, because I am trying to hope that they're not all the same fucking hive mind dog shit mentality. But, you know, anyway, those are my plants right now, how they're doing. Uh, with the heat, the biofilm on the water is building up, so I gotta empty the water more for the birds. Let's see, so they chipped that. They didn't break it completely, but they chipped it. That's chipped right there. And uh, the only possible angle was, only likeliest angle there. And then uh, the uh, a night before that, they threw an egg over here. So those are the eggshells left over right there. And there's some, some streaks from it before. And if I were to throw something like that, you can bet your little clutched pearls that somebody would get involved. So that's that. I pruned that back for now. Um, I'm trying to get more light under there so that those little sedums can grow their little succulent um, on the ground level. The bottom of is doing well. Tomato plants are in there, but the marigold is a little too big. You can see one right there. There's three. So everything's leafing out again. Those are planned for out there. But today I had a little incident when I went to go water. And You can tell which trees I already pruned. So I pruned that one right there. That's the acacia. I forget which species of acacia. I pruned a little bit off of the one furthest over there. Um, it's a single trunk it. And then I did minimal, like 20, 25% pruning on this one because most of the work for the structure is already done. Uh, and most of that is due to what I'm about to. Here's another one that I planted, okay. Most of that is due to it hasn't been completely interfered with. There's still interferences. You can see you know, plastic bits, some burnt, some garbage over there, uh, more garbage up there, right? And then sabotage, they try to sabotage. So this is most of the structure that I was able to establish for this. But this is allowed right here. Look at that. Hmm. Who allowed that? I, they, didn't, they never told me they were gonna do that, you know? You gotta get permits for everything they say, but I don't think they got permits for, for that right there. It's a horrible, horrible wound right there. It's not gonna heal right. You can see it cuts one, like one and a half feet in length, almost two feet right there. And then, I don't know where they dragged the branch off to. Uh, and similar damage on these other trees right here, look. What the fuck is that, right? I had to empty these out. I asked the lady that was over here if she knew who was gonna empty them out. But clearly, the norm is playing stupid, right? Just play stupid, it fits like a glove. And uh, while I was over here, I moved these that I found somebody dumped over there. I pruned this earlier. That's the stuff I left behind. Uh, single trunk. I haven't fucked with this too much. I've been adding water, but I don't think they really even understand or care to understand what it's for, what it means. I got all that garbage. That's the lady that I gave the other uh, plant to, the one that was in that pot that's empty now. Here's a cactus patch, right? Here's a comparison of the health and the structure. 
that I have, I'll go around the long way. Because they stomped on a root plant that I had planted here. Look at that. And they've been doing that for a while. And that's the stem right there. And then they did the same with the uh, rosemary that I planted there. If we don't have any ground cover, the ground is going to dry up, get brittle, and dry, and hard, and the only thing that's going to grow is the same annual weeds as usual. So I'm trying to do this here. But again, the species that they favor, the methods. When I came out here, I said, well, that's stupid. And this fucking girl over here with two other little shits her age, a guy and a girl. This is the species they chose, right? Invasive species right there. Detrimental to urban spaces like sidewalks. It's pretty close to a sidewalk, but it might be far enough away. It's like... One, two, three, four, five, about six steps in to the trunk where it is right now. Yeah, so despite my best intentions, and that's the work that I put in there. I went ahead and damaged it, which sets it back. Another wound like this, it's gotta heal. Another idiot whose stupidity is valued at the same as my intelligence. And they asked me not to brag about my intelligence, but I mean... So... It's okay, no, this is the only one we can operate here. blind eye. Completely invisible. This is the trash from the two bins. And then it looks like some metal there too. They started getting uppity when I was over there, right? And I'm, I'm like, they asked me some bullshit like, oh, you socialist? And I was like, you know what? Don't ask me my politics. You wouldn't understand. Why don't you stick to your schooling? I was like, oh, I'm offended, blah, blah, blah. I study, I have, I'm studying a degree, blah, blah, blah. And I told her, I told her. Cause see, they, they have this thing where you, where they brag about how much schooling they get because they can't brag about how much comprehension they have. They can't brag about how smart they are. So they equate schooling with intelligence, right? And if you're bragging about how smart you are, you might not be that smart. I mean, that's true. That's why I've listened to wisdom, even if it hasn't been directly told to me, the wisdom about don't brag about how smart you are because no matter how smart you think you are, you're probably not that smart. And there's always something you're missing, some... Shut up, let go. So, so yeah, I, I got to juggle all these factors, all these fucking factors, and... Their linear thinking, you got to think about social class as one thing, right? Um, the amount of factors the upper classes have to fucking deal with that are non-linear, that are unpredictable, diminishes the higher up they go to where the, the amount of peace almost becomes like atrophying to their brains, their minds, their mentalities. And no matter how much information you try to cram in there, their thinking tends to be pretty straightforward, linear, predictable, and that's how they try to frame these contexts of what neurotypical is and what normal and sane are, when really, sometimes what they call irrational responses are the best possible fucking responses they could possibly have. Violence in the face of oppression is resistance. It's not violence for the sake of violence, and they don't really see that because they've never been forced to deal with the, con the consequences of their privilege. They never have to deal with the contexts of having to use their brain for, I don't know, anything other than hedonistic self-indulgence. 
So yeah, so she, she brags, and then, and then the, this bigger, older dude, probably like my age, comes over, and he starts flipping me off, telling me, go home, go home, shut up, go home. I'm like, I'm in public space, what the fuck? And the lady comes out, and so at this point, you know, I, I know they're associated, but I play along. That, that they're not associated. I'm like, you see how they're talking to me? You see, you see what they're doing? Like, as I'm emptying the garbage, as I'm emptying the literal garbage. And I tell the dude, you know, you could give a hand, you're not giving a hand. Oh, they're so smart, the schooling. Having family support, financial support. Having support from your surroundings enables you to do this little refined, precise, regimented, linear structure and, and perform well. Oh, oh, huh. Oh. I mean, that's kind of how it works. And they think it means they're smarter and they're superior. Well, I look at the park, I don't see much proof of it in 30 plus fucking years. I, I look at their lives and I look at just even the controls that they have to fucking exert, you know, threats of violence in a public space, no respect for the sanctity of civil society, no matter what country, no matter what flag. So yeah, those are the amounts of fucking factors I gotta deal with, and that's why you see so much apparent disorder here. But it's relatively ordered if you actually use your brain for once. Um, for example, I've got the invasive fucking species that likes to dig up my plants and shit. Sequestered. Huh, Furball? Huh? Lovica. Come say hi. Come say hi. You can't come outside because there's no fence right now. Got them. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi to the camera. Come say hi. I gotta get these plants indoors, right? That's some seed saved from the uh, mallow, wild mallow or weed. Um, it's got some mulch here. Oh, check it out. I think it's a painted lady butterfly. Where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Can't see, can't see. Where's she at? So I gotta get that tree planted, I gotta dig up, I gotta cut all these up, and I have the measurements, but so much stuff, it's like you, you juggle, sometimes you fumble a thing or two, right? And you can't indulge in the hobbies you'd like to indulge in, and the work that you'd like to actually forward. Because they're used to, and they're spoiled into being able to... Oh, so that's what... Hmm, hmm. I heard a ruckus over here. So maybe they threw it from over there. It hit right here and bounced to that pot. You see, it's a straight line. If the angle is perpendicular, right? If there's a scratch on this. Oh. It doesn't look like there's a scratch on it. Anyway, I've got to clean that wound and I'm gonna stop recording now. But this might still be edible. No scratch. Huh. Might have just buckled under the weight. It's going too quick. So, yeah. That's the shit I gotta deal with. That didn't all cut itself right there. I just, it doesn't matter how smart you actually try to approach things and how smart you naturally are or work on being. If you're surrounded by a bunch of idiots and they outnumber you, they don't gotta be that fucking smart to make your fucking life shitty, you know? All y'all gotta do is take a little shit somewhere. And they don't.
don't take little shits, do they? <laughs> 